At the Discovery Museum in Old Sacramento, we also have this wonderful exhibit dealing with the meteor airplane. And it is a story about Sacramento. Sacramento had its hand in to be an aviation center very early on. There was an airplane factory in North Sacramento called the Liberty Ironworks, which made planes to be delivered to the Army Air Corps, which was Mather Field. And after that was over, the field was decommissioned, the airplane plant went away, and it kind of looked like the aviation industry was leaving. There was a man named Jack Irwin in Sacramento who decided to build a new kind of a plane, not a bi-wing, but a mono-wing plane. And it was designed not to be for the military, but to be for the general public. So hence he produced what some would say is the first commercially viable uh, pleasure aircraft. He called it the Meteor. The really interesting thing about this plane is that he manufactured everything here in Sacramento. The motor was of his design and the castings may have been done elsewhere, but all the machining was done here. Even the rubber for the wheels on the tires he made in his own rubber vulcanizing plant on R Street. The assembly of these planes was down across the street from what is now Executive Airport. There was another airport on the other side of the street. And in this venture, he would let you buy this plane in any form. You could buy the plans and build it totally yourself. He would put the major parts together and send them to you as a package and you'd put it together. Or ultimately you could buy it completely assembled for him and ready to go. This plane interestingly held a couple of world speed records for a while. It was quite, quite the modern aircraft of its time, though maybe a little dangerous to fly now by our standards. There is only one complete plane left in existence, which is held by the Oakland Museum, which was Jack Irwin's personal plane. And then there is this plane, which is the last one off the assembly line, never completed. And this was collected by a gentleman here in Sacramento named Jim Brown, who had an early aviation collection, mostly related to engines. So there's very little of the meteor left anywhere. So at the Oakland Museum and here at the Discovery Museum is about the only place you can find anything.